On our Crossroads travels, we've encountered a lot of avid collectors, and we've discovered that sometimes those collections can become obsessions. Case in point, the couple you're about to meet in Wilson County. They had to enlarge their whole home to accommodate their collection of decanters. Decanters that once held a certain brand of whiskey. Since 1795, seven generations of the Bean family have produced Kentucky bourbon whiskey. The brand was named Jim Beam in 1933 following Prohibition. Well, in the mid-1950s, the distillery began filling their whiskey into collectible ornamental bottles and decanters. Charles and Betty Barrett know all about the collectible part. You see, their home has evolved into, well, a museum of sorts with more than 1,650 decanters on display and hundreds more in storage. The Barrett's collection obsession began accidentally in 1980 while visiting an antique store in Lebanon. And they had about 30 bottles. They had eight bottles, state bottles. So I told Betty, I said, what we need to do is we need to get all 50 states. Well, nobody told me they didn't make 50 states. They still had to be 50 states, but from then on, you know, you got to have this one, you got to have that one. Charles and Betty were hooked, and soon there was no turning back. You know, when Wizard of Earth started, I knew nothing about the canners, not anything at all. But I, I bought me two books and, and laid it by my bedside at night, and I would, I would read that thing and I'd study, and, and to, so I know what I was talking about whenever I went to look. If it's 200 miles area of where we live, we've been to every antique mall and, and flea market that they have. We would go every weekend. We'd go on, we'd get up daylight on Saturday, and we'd get home midnight on Saturday night. What did your friends say and your family? Well, to start out, they liked them, and after a while they thought, well, that dummy, he, he's gonna have to build a house to put them in. Well, we did. Well, guess what? Where we're sitting right now, was a, an addition to a house that we had because we didn't have enough room. So we came and we built what? We built 1,100 more square feet. Just for the collection? Basically for the collection. That's not to mention all the custom-made wood and glass cases. The decanters were produced for about 35 years by Regal China in Antioch, Illinois and they included an amazing array of forms from foxes to fish, from dogs to opera singers. They have an entire series of decanters produced for the Ducks Unlimited organization. There are even decanter train sets, originally purchased one-fifth the whiskey at a time. By now, you might be asking the obvious question. Some people might say, gee, I bet you drink a lot of Jim Beam. <laughs> no. No, we don't drink. We don't drink, uh, never have drank. We live in a dry county. We can't have but 10 fists. I don't have 10 fists, so I don't want the law come looking for me, but, but anyway. This bottle is a replica of the 1980 Mount St. Helens volcano. To pour the whiskey, you just twist off the smoke cloud. This Statue of Liberty was made a little too tall to fit in the display cabinet. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Betty's personal favorite is this magnificent space shuttle decanter. And my least favorite is King Kong. He is so ugly. <laughs> but you have to have it to have the collection. In another room, this entire wall contains their 114-piece wheel series, featuring finely crafted cars and trucks that once carried Jim Beam instead of passengers. Well, like this cool caddy. And if you want to know how you get the booze out, right there. This is a, a 57 hard, uh, a hard top, and it's made a little different on top, of, but guess what? The booze comes out the same way. <laughs> I think there's 14 or 15 57 Chevrolets in there on the shelf. Now, who needs 14 or 15 Chevrolets? But if you don't have 14 or 15 Chevrolets, guess what? You don't have all of them. 
While the Barrett's collection will never be for sale, they one day would like to donate it to Wilson County for a permanent museum. Meanwhile, Charles has some words of wisdom for anyone who's even thinking about starting a collection. If you don't want to get hooked on them, don't start on anything. I don't care what it is, whether it's belt buckles or fountain pens or the, whatever it is. If you start collecting, uh, our, our wants get more than our needs. We're, we're just hooked. We're just hooked.